Millionaire Sean refuses Harry begging to join the LAFC ownership group as the Duke waits 45 minutes in the car park. Prince Harry looked awkward while making a cringe-worthy pose beside a millionaire in a recently revealed photograph. The Duke of Sussex, who's a massive football fan, posed for a picture beside one of the new owners of the LAFC. Millionaire Sean Neff, an investor advisor, announced he was joining the LAFC ownership group on Instagram. Recently, there's a picture of Sean Neff with Prince Harry who stood with his hand stretched out while making a funny facial expression. In the meanwhile, Neff looked slightly displeased in the photograph. The Duke wore a dark blazer and buttoned up shirt while posing with the millionaire in a car park. The night of the picture appears to be taken on September the 3rd, when the Duke of Sussex attended the LAFC and Inter Miami game. Other famous faces in the mix of photos included Will Ferrell, who's also in the owners group and NBA legend Magic Johnson. An insider reveals that Harry waited for Sean Neff 45 minutes in the car park to take pictures and discuss the new deal with him. Meghan's husband wanted to join the LAFC ownership group, but Sean Neff cleverly refused by saying, I have something to do. We'll talk about this later. Then he indulged Harry with a quick shot. The source says that Harry's chance of joining LAFC seems to be 0%. WME bought the Harcourt's tickets to the football game, but a piece of paper listing notable attendees at the match included the names Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They were the only two people on the list who didn't have an occupation written beside their names. Harry appeared to be sitting in a director's box at the stadium, which costs between three and $9,000 to hire. The luxury box includes beer, wine, fruit, hot dogs, nachos and other foods, and access to a VIP lounge. A photo from the night shows the prince watching the match from the VIP suite, sitting next to Larry Berg, the co-owner of the football club. The news comes as experts have just referenced Prince Harry's current dynamic with his past mistakes and the urgent need to pay for it all. Claims like this have been brought to light by Royal commentator Daniela Elsa. She weighed in on everything during one of her pieces for News.com Australia. In this piece, she touched upon the blurred lines Prince Harry and Meghan Markle supported following their exit from the firm. In reference to this, Miss Elsa believes, in hindsight, the argument can be made that the Netflix Athon and Spare blurred the boundaries in the public imagination about what was and wasn't off limits. While she does clarify, I'm not saying for a second that this is fine and dandy, or that in doing the TV series, the Sussexes automatically relinquished their future right to privacy. Because it's unimpeachably the Sussexes' choice, what they reveal of themselves and how and where they do it. Yet at the same time, the question now is, are we now seeing one of the unintended consequences of those lucrative content deals playing out? The only really good thing that can be said, at least it's been a cracking week for the Canoe and Tourist Board.